Hi there, welcome to another video from Parker Adams Boat Sales. I'm Jonathan Parker and we're here on our pontoon in the middle of the River Hamble in the south coast of England to show you this 2021 six metre ballistic rib. Now this rib has come to us as part exchange for a Cat Camera 9 WA and the previous owners were a, a family, a family of four, um, two teenage children now, um, but they enjoyed many a year um, using this for water sports. So since 2021 they've been using it for water sports on the Dorset coast, um, just doing water skiing all about down by Lulworth from Weymouth um, and between there and Poole. Um, so it's, um, it's a very good ballistic or a very good sea keeping boat and it was sold originally by um, JBT um, boat sails in Trafalgar Wharf in Portsmouth, so not, not far from here. And the engine is a Yamaha, Yamaha 130, so 130 horsepower Yamaha engine, which pushes this boat to um, well over 40 knots actually. And so it's a very, very quick boat. Um, but also it's a very capable small boat as well. Um, I do like the ballistic touches that they do um, to actually, so it makes it feel more of a commercial boat, including things like, if you start up off the front, um, by putting a nice, um, instead of just a cleat, they've actually got a nice pole here. And I really like this type of cleat. It's, um, it's a very neat um, way of doing it and, it's, and it can also be very um, used for towing and things like that. It's also got a, um, um, a rub straight over the front. So when you anchor, um, you can drop the anchor over and you've got somewhere secure to tie it on. Um, the anchor itself is stored within this front locker, which also doubles as a seat, um, but quite unusual for small ribs. The, the actual um, chain can be stored within this compartment, which keeps it um, very neatly away from everything else. Um, so it doesn't damage the GRP internally, which quite often happens. And not normally these would all be, have to be, um, um, have to have rubber matting within them to actually protect it, but it doesn't need it because they've thought of that. And this doubles as a, like I say, as a seat. Um, but it's not the only seat up the front. As you can see, it's actually quite, it's actually a twin um, it's got a very neat table that you can get out and just put to one side. So when you sat here, you can have a drink, or if you sat on this side, you can also have a drink on there as well. So you can enjoy your lunch around this area. And of course, being that it's a rib, you can use the tubes as seating as well. So for a six meter boat, it's very versatile as well. Uh, this also has twin batteries. So it's got a twin battery set up um, within the locker here. And um, I'll just show you. So if you look in here, the battery switch is here and it's got a twin battery setup. And this switch actually operates the automatic bilge pump. Now it's actually got two bilge pumps in the back, two automatic ones, um, and they're the type that will energize every couple of minutes. And if it doesn't detect a load on the impeller, um, it'll, it'll, it'll turn itself off. Otherwise it'll carry on going until the load is released off the impeller and then it will shut itself down. Um, so if this is kept in a dry stack or on a dock like this, you can actually, take the whole drain out so any water that does come on board just drains itself out um, and um, so we don't need a bilge pump on all the time and because it does cut in every two minutes it does drain the battery over weeks so you do have the option of turning it off um, which is quite neat I quite like that idea um, also in here in the backrest of the seat is access to the electronics um, but you can see it's padded out um, but it's because if you look here, there's a little post here and the table very neatly stows onto there. So if you're wondering where to put it when you're not using it, it just goes onto the top there and it can be stowed like that. Um, in here also there's a um, flagpole to put onto the back. Um, also stowed in here, which I've actually fitted, it's on top of the radar arch. If you have a look, you can see there's not only a light on the radar arch, which is your running light when you're actually um, um, powering along and, and a stern light, um, but also there's an extended light and that's actually an anchor light. So it's an additional light, but it's, it's just raised up above everybody's height and the height of everything on the boat. So it acts as an all round anchor light. Again, it's a neat touch and a bit of a nod to its sort of commercial um, um, side as well. Storage within the centre locker. Um, the catches are missing off here, we're just replacing them with new ones, so we've got brand new ones going on there, so don't worry about that. But it's also got synthetic teak throughout. Uh, what I also like about this is um, it's got grab handles everywhere. So a little ballistic again, is there's always a grab handle no matter where you are, even on the tubes, at the, hel at the, um, at the helm, um, and for the passenger at the helm as well. 
and they've even put a neat little rail just up here um, just to stop things from sliding off and then you've got two cup holders as well um, also this has a Garmin um, chart plotter it's not a touch screen um, but it also has um, uh, I think it's got clear view on here let's have a quick look we're on a dock um, so it's not actually looking down into the water but it does have clear view because it's coming up so it's got clear view sonar as well as normal sonar and of course it's got um, your nav normal navigation charts as well you can have perspective 3d or fishing chart but we've got obviously normal navigational chart um, it also has a Garmin VHF fixed quite often on small ribs you don't get one at all and you just have to cope with a portable but it has that it also has a fusion stereo system and you can Bluetooth to that so it's a Bluetooth system so you can use your phone to it so you can play music by the two speakers here um, and we've got a switch array for lights um, it also has deck lights so all around the deck there's there's small LED lights and we pop them on one of these there you go you actually pop those on you can see them now sort of an evening it gives it a nice light effect on the floor and then we've got the second display which is actually for the Yamaha engine so it's a Yamaha 130 um, it has five years warranty from new so it's got warranty till 2026 um, and it's only done at the moment 83.9 hours so a tud under 84 hours um, it's quite a, a versatile screen because not only can you get obviously hours on there it does all your instrumentation at the same time this is a touch screen um, so if I return back we can slide across and then we can have all our engine information on here and um, so from a revs to trim position to um, how much fuel we've used the fuel economy and then temperature oil pressures voltmeter um, on here as well and then there's, there's a second battery on here because we've got two batteries so it monitors both battery charges as well uh, so a nice little system um, it's got hydraulic steering it's not cable steering it's hydraulic steering um, and of course you've got your engine controls as well um, the engine itself it is controlled by um, it's a cable control it's not a fly-by-wire so the smaller engines normally are still cable controls um, power trim and you can see we've got this lovely upholstery the silver text upholstery on all the four jockey seats every jockey seat has storage in as well so very nice storage in all of them and then we've got the bench seat at the back which also um, has storage as well so again there's quite it's quite a versatile little boat um, and then once you want to lift the engine up this actually just simply folds forward and the engine can then be lifted straight up um, you can see we've got the deck lights on here as well so it's got these floodlights to light up the boat if you need to at night you need to see what you're doing and then you can see that the engine trims nicely with that seat back down and it's got a stainless steel propeller on the engine as well um, I've taken this out a couple of times now it's a really fun small rib um, doesn't come with a trailer um, but it's priced with that in mind um, so if you want a really nice small six meter ballistic only two years old um, it's in I would say as new condition um, so if there's something you want come and see us at parker-adams.co.uk subscribe to our channel um, come and see how much this is in fact I'll tell you this is 42 995 at the moment is it 4199 oh my god what a bargain it's 41995 at the moment and um, these new to give you an idea they spec up like this are around 65 to 70 thousand pounds it's one big problem you'll you'll find now when you're looking at new ribs the manufacturing costs have increased 30 percent since post covid and um, and then the problem with that um, is that that then gets passed on to the owners so as it stands, um, this offers really good value against new at the moment. So it's not to be missed, a really good little six meter sea boat, really capable on the water and lots of seating as well, as well as you've got the versatility of the upfront um, area as well. So come and see us, um, at our, subscribe to our channel. I hope you like this video. And I've already said that, but subscribe to our channel and um, see you on the next video. Thank you.